I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. About time to. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano. He's five foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm so looking forward to this, Terrell. 12 rounds of boxing in the red corner from Manchester, England. And standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Fighting out of the blue corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. The anticipation is second to... And that's the opening bell, round one. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. He just misses with that big right hand. There's a counter shot. Nice job blocking the left. Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. Blocks the hook. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Close round with 10 seconds to go. That counter scores. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on the fighter. Get out there. Get the job done. And there's the bell to start round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice counter punch. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye and they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Nice job by him to block that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarmer. Peace. And there it is. The knockdown punch we knew was coming.
they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Missed him with that uppercut. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Let's get it started in round three. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they want to shake your leg. They're a, a nuts here, away from getting stopped. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. He blocks that jab. Swinging and missing. Nice exchange here from both men. Punch, counter punch. Nice counter shot. Back and forth they go. Men step back. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place. Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the one not. that knockdown is going to be we just saw i love the response though got back up took a deep breath and thought right push it up get on with the jump here we go to the fourth round he got knocked down in the last round let's see what he can do here that knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. Him. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Punch scores. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good punch. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be hard. Oh, and Tyson Fury just got run. it up and this fight continues you'd like to see so 
final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Being knocked down in that round. Can make or break a fighter. into the fray here in round five. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Counter right hand there. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Nice counter shot. Beautiful counter shot. They just missed with that big right hand. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. So I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Perfect counter shot. He threw the hook. Didn't land. Lands with the right counter. Misses with that jab. He fails to score with that left hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Here we go in the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. And they get out of the way of that left hand. Good counter punching. Fury just got clipped. The big fella might be... Nothing else he could do there but take a knee to stop the beating. What you see right there is a heartbroken fighter. And he blocks the left uppercut. Nice counter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree, I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.